Each year, thousands of people are injured, either at work or in a place of business. Accidents not only cause pain and suffering to those injured, they cost American businesses hundreds of millions of dollars annually. The real tragedy is that many of these accidents could have been avoided. The way to minimize hazards in the workplace is through education and awareness. At Ames, we believe a safe work environment for our customers, as well as our associates, is a team effort. Safety is everyone's responsibility. In order to prevent accidents, associates need to be aware of two types of safety issues. They are unsafe conditions and unsafe acts. Unsafe conditions are those situations that could cause an accident. Some examples of unsafe conditions are merchandise that is stacked too high, wet spots or spills on the floor, and rugs which are turned up instead of lying flat. Unsafe acts, on the other hand, are things that associates do that could result in an injury to them or others. Examples of unsafe acts would be careless lifting, cutting boxes by pulling the blade toward your body, or reaching for something on a shelf instead of moving the ladder. Most of the accidents that take place in our stores fall into one of three categories. Being struck by falling objects, slips, trips, and falls, and back strain due to improper lifting. Let's take a look at some of the things that you can do to prevent accidents in each of these three categories. To begin with, stack merchandise safely. Don't stack merchandise so it leans or is in danger of falling. Use a ladder if necessary. Don't try to push or poke merchandise off the shelf. Keep merchandise in straight vertical columns. Remember, if it's leaning, it will probably fall. Use good housekeeping to keep merchandise securely on a shelf. Objects placed too close to the edge or on top of other items can get knocked to the floor. And take your time. Be aware of what's around you to avoid accidents. To avoid slips, trips, or falls, follow these simple guidelines. Walk, don't run, and make sure others do the same. Wipe up spills immediately, or call someone who can. And don't forget to post wet floor signs to warn of wet areas. When carrying merchandise or equipment, make sure you have a clear field of vision so you can see where you're walking. Keep the floors clean and neat. Pick up any fallen merchandise. Don't leave flatbeds, hand trucks, or cartons in the aisle where someone could trip and fall. Make sure that rugs are lying flat and pick up any merchandise, pieces of paper, packaging, hangers, and any other trash or obstructions on the floor. Remove empty shopping carts from walkways, doorways, and stock rooms. Check to see that ladders are in good condition before you use them. Look for bent or broken rungs or side supports. Don't reach way out to the side of a ladder to retrieve an item. Climb all stairs one at a time and use handrails. Make sure that stairways are kept clear. And stand any empty pallets up on end. Never leave them lying flat on the floor. To prevent injuries when lifting, watch the section on proper lifting techniques later in this program. Many unsafe conditions can occur outside the store, in the parking lot, or in front of the store. If you see potholes, buckles in the pavement, or icy spots, report these conditions to the manager immediately. Shopping carts should never be left blocking the entrance or exits in front of the store. And if spills or broken merchandise are found on the walk in front of the store, they should be cleaned or picked up right away. Most stores are equipped with ceiling installed sprinkler systems for fire protection. In order for these systems to function properly, the sprinkler heads must not be blocked by merchandise. To prevent this from occurring, imagine an invisible line 18 inches below the ceiling throughout the entire building. Don't stack or store any merchandise or equipment or place displays above that imaginary line. Every store has an emergency evacuation plan. The evacuation plan is posted near the time clock. The plan will list the location of fire extinguishers, exit doors, the front doors, and department names.
In the event of a fire or other emergency, an announcement will be made over the store intercom to let all associates and customers know that the store must be evacuated. It's a good idea for all associates to familiarize themselves with the crisis handbook. The handbook references critical and emergency situations which may arise and how each one should be handled. If you have any questions about store safety, ask your supervisor or manager. These are a few basic safety tips to keep in mind while performing different tasks around the store. When cutting open boxes and cartons, never pull the cutting blade toward you. Always pull it in a direction away from any part of your body. Direct customers away from the back room or receiving areas to prevent them from being accidentally injured. Know how the compactor works before you use it and operate it only when the door is closed. Never try to move a fixture alone. Get someone to help you to prevent injury and accidents. Know the location of fire extinguishers and fire exits and make sure access to any of them is never blocked. Handle or report all safety related issues as soon as you identify them. Don't wait for or rely on others to take the responsibility. All associates should continually evaluate the safety conditions within the store. Ask yourself if you feel the store is safe for you, your fellow associates and the customers. If you see something that you consider unsafe, determine what's wrong and take steps to fix it. Whether you fix the problem alone, get help, or bring it to the attention of your manager, always address a safety concern. Never ignore it or assume someone else will take care of it. Make sure that everyone in the store is as safety conscious as you are. Everyone at Ames is responsible for safety. Management is responsible for providing a safe work environment by setting and maintaining safety standards and increasing associate awareness of all aspects of safety. But management can't do it alone. Associates are also expected to assume responsibility for safety by reporting any unsafe conditions or acts and maintaining safe working conditions while working in a safe manner. Safety at Ames is a team effort. We all need to take the time to be safe.